Do you believe that a border wall is part of the answer? Yes or no? No. No. So give me two or three specific examples that we could do policy change that would make a difference. Senator, I think the, um, the president uh, on day one set forth a blueprint uh, that Well, uh, pick contains... three out of there that you think are the best, the most meaningful. Uh, Senator, I'm not, I'm, uh, I, I would um, be quite hesitant to rank which ones are the best, uh, but I continue to adhere to the approach that we're, we're, when we're speaking of a system that has not been reformed since 1996, that we need to reform it from top to bottom. So the, the situation at the border, you're saying, is not a disaster? That is correct. Do you think that millions of people crossing our border illegally creates the risk of a terrorist attack in our country? Senator, um, uh, I think that uh, the men and women of the Department of Homeland Security do an extraordinary job of ensuring the safety and security of the That wasn't the, the question American. I asked. I said, do you think that millions of people crossing our border illegally every year, two and a half million last year, creates the risk of a terrorist? With what's going on in the world, people coming from more than 100 different countries crossing here illegally, you don't even know how many of them are still here. You came here today without that information. Do you think that creates a risk of a terrorist attack in our country? Uh, Senator, um, you mischaracterized my testimony. What I sh what I yes or no? With do you do you think that creates a ri millions of people come here are here illegally? We're not even talking about the gotaways. How many gotaways are in our country here illegally? Does that create the risk of a terrorist attack in our country? Let Secretary Mayorkas, how many people have entered the uh, country illegally across our southern border since the Biden administration took office? A uh, number. Uh, Senator, it's um, uh, over six million encounters at our southern border. And how many of those six million are still in the country? Uh, Senator, uh, I can get you that information. So, do you know? Senator, I don't want to. Would you provide us with a number of how many of those six million that crossed our border illegally are still in the country? I would be pleased to provide you with the, any data that you request, Senator. Of the two and a half million that crossed our southern border illegally last year, how many of them remain in the country? Again, Senator, I'd be very pleased to provide you with the data with respect to how many removals have been effected, how many uh, voluntary removals, how many forced removals, um, how many um, uh, expulsions, how many individuals but are But you came to the hearing today and you don't have those numbers? You're the, you are the head of DHS and you came to this hearing today without those numbers? That is correct. And is the administration open to working with Congress to include policy reforms that would deal with the underlying reasons for the search as we consider the supplemental? Vice Chair Collins, um, we need the funding that we are requesting immediately, that we are requesting in the supplemental. We um, have advocated for day, from day one for immigration reform. It is unanimous that our broken immigration system is in dire need of reform. Our administration has pursued a comprehensive strategy to manage this unprecedented migration. Our strategy includes expanded lawful pathways for migration, strengthened consequences for unlawful entry at the border, removing a record number of individuals found to be ineligible for protection under the law, and increased partnership across the region to curb irregular migration.